Global warming is fucking not real. I'm sick of it. I had Randall Carlson on my podcast. He's an expert in uh, collisions, like uh, c- cosmic collisions yeah. on Earth. And uh, he said, you don't, he goes, global warming is not good. He goes, but what's really bad is global cooling. Oh. He goes, global cooling is terrifying. Global co- ice ages, that's where everybody dies. Yeah. That's where there's no food. That's where you're, you're fucking starving to death. Dude, how do we make it? <laughs> how do we make it through the ice age? How do it, we? Well, you have to we? move. You, you moved. You know, oh, okay. or the hardiest of hardy people, they hunted and gathered, like the Inuit. They're, they they basically can't grow any vegetables. What They're, a fucking bullshit life. What a scary it's life, In a dude. fucking ice cave. Just... You're living in an ice house covered in animal skins. Hopefully oh. you stab something in the next month. And you're just you looking for it. fat. You're just yeah. looking for blubber to eat. Yeah. Because that's what your body uses for fuel. Yeah, but ma- imagine how much you could just like slide on ice, though. Like yeah, you're walking. Probably you're sliding. That's probably, probably good at it. Fucking in there. <laughs> probably nasty, dude. dude. Fucking in there. Oh, they're probably <sighs> getting God, animal, animal layers. Get in there together. <sighs> dude, Imagine fucking snuggle. in an ice house that you made with a fire in the center of it, oh. in the center of it, on animal skins of animals you killed, knowing that there's no doctors anywhere. So <sighs> if if your woman gets pregnant, like you're just you're pulling it out of there in the middle of the tundra with polar bears around your ice house. Oh. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Yeah, but they probably they had no concept of doctors. They had no There's, concept I mean, of, of course any there were, of life. course there were people man? that figured shit out. Yeah, but I'm saying like he wasn't like fuck. I wish I had a doctor. Dude, if you grow up like that, that's how you live. And yeah. people are True. adaptable as shit. I had this dude on uh, Sunny from Best Ever Food Review yesterday, and he went and lived with these tribal people and hunted with them and and ate what they ate. He he reviews like exotic foods from all over the world, and like he's like with these tribal people slurping blood out of the carcass of a goat that they just shot they're they're slurping it up with their hands oh. and you could tell he's like barely getting through yeah. it on camera but it's like that's their normal life for them it wasn't gross at all it was totally normal this is how you get food yeah. you know you don't wet, let the blood go to waste you slurp it out of the body cavity oh, damn I was looking at this right? <laughs> the endothelial healthcare <laughs> skills helped them survive through the ice age what it's Damn, a, dude. It's a just, trap. No, they said like they found people with broken bones and not sure exactly how it did it, but mm. uh, if the, since they were in such small tribes, if they lost someone, it would have been catastrophic to the group. So they Damn. all had to work to keep everybody alive closer to. Dude. So yeah, I mean, one. they probably eventually figured out how to set an arm, right, and put a stick there and tr- tie it down. <laughs> you stick, know? Just sitting in a fucking igloo. <laughs> yeah. And bro, they don't always grow back good. You know, there's a lot of like... Yeah, uh, you get some mangled arms, dude. Yeah. But there's a lot of like bones that they found of people that like that's a hard life. Oh, they're monsters like yeah. tigers. Oh, jeez, you getting uh, shit bit off all the time. I'm thinking more about your cave wife. Yeah, what before kind of wife like you women had? had words and you get home and they just be like, ah! and you're like, ah. no words, just no, nah. just no nah. words. Nah. You gotta be like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I bet they were horny all the time. I bet all they did was just fuck, just fucking throw spears and go gather food. Yeah, probably yeah, the more we're talking right. about it, the more I'm coming around on this, yeah, how sick that shit would have been, they, dude. They, yeah. they must be so primal, those people. You don't know where the fuck like you the are. Like, the earliest yeah. early people, like, people from, like, 300,000 <laughs> years ago, whatever a person was back then, they must be so horny. Yeah, well, that's why they had all those... Hairy and shit, just... <sighs> just yeah. Looking to fuck and throw spears and... Smelling each other. Fighting off animals. Well, that's why they had all those fucked up rituals, because they, in their world... Nature, like violence, they just like put on a pedestal. That yeah. was like the coolest thing. That was like the ultimate life force back then, just getting squashed by like animals and rocks. So they would reenact it all the time. Could you imagine if you can go back and get like one of them Neanderthal dudes and like enter him into a wrestling tournament? <laughs> it's. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'll just teach he'd him bite. a few moves. He'd bite right away. He'd bite he'd me. Bite. <laughs> First guy to grab. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> you're just a beast. <laughs> but like a, a Neanderthal yeah. is probably so much stronger than people. Their bones are different. They're built different. They're like five seven, two hundred plus pounds. They're they're built like chimps. Yeah. Like big powerful chimps. Oh, You'd like, have to put them down, dude. You can't have them out here. Do you think that they fucked us or we fucked them? We seduced them. <laughs> I think we seduced them for sure. Yes. <laughs> Imagine me laying, laying, <clears throat> laying in wait, dude. One of those and guys came by. Plus, back then, <laughs> like having a, a powerful woman would be very attractive because then you'd have kids that could survive. Like yeah, your, your gene pool, your gene line would keep going on. Yeah, going for China. Yeah, you want one night in China. 
<laughs> China the wrestler. Yeah. You were a bulky China ass bitch, China. dude. She was probably the hottest dude. China would have been a dude. I did uh, Fear Factor with China, Zena. and after she won, when, after she completed one of the stunts, she got out and like full flexed and goes, oh. "Who's the man?" She oh. said, "Who's the man?" Yeah, I guess it's just what you say. Yeah, she had a wild voice. Big lady. She did. How tall was she? I don't know. But when women take steroids like that, <laughs> they develop a, a male midget's voice. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, here's a man. <laughs> Didn't X-Pac take her down? Uh, you shouldn't say midget, so. Yeah, look at this. Midge. Coolio was on it. <clears throat> nice. Coolio won it. Damn. Ruggies, there she Damn, is. Damn, dude. dude. Hasselhoff. Right? Hasselhoff. The thing, the Hasselhoff, thing Hasselhoff sucks. thinking about it. Dude, this squad is nuts, dude. <laughs> The thing is, yeah, you know, <laughs> three of them are dead. Yeah, dude. Three of those people that might on be a cursed are episode, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what did yeah. China die of? Kelly Preston died, uh, China died, and Coolio died. What, what, did, what took China out? That's a good question. I don't know. Pile driver. <laughs> <laughs> Kane broke into her house. <laughs> she did porn for a while. Oh yeah. yeah, it was the one night in China. That was her porn. Oh, that was the name of wasn't, it. Did, wasn't oh. it X Pac who was? I think X Pac. Fucking was, love X Pac. <laughs> who's X Pac? The wrestler. <laughs> the generation X. Oh. Oh. This is like my favorite story of it's bull. It's Matt true. told me the story. He was like, dude, I saw X Pac once. He was in an airport. Dude, I was, I was, I was like twelve. I was like, yo, X Pac, what's up? And he I gave didn't him even the, look I was like, at me. X Pac. I gave him the suck it. He goes, dude, he didn't even look at me. I was like, dude, every dude looks like X Pac. No, yeah, it wasn't him. A lot of dudes look like that. He saw a guy what? that looked like that in the yeah, airport. It was like X Pac. I saw a guy. I know five guys that look like that. <laughs> every dude looks just like just from jujitsu <laughs> class. <laughs> dude, I was twelve. He had a cut sleeve bro, denim vest. Bro, if, every you live Pac, if you live in a Mexican neighborhood, you see that dude every day. You see that dude every day. A young Pac. Oh, that was X Pac does huh? rule though. The the Bronco Buster. Come I did not man. think it was gay. No, there was not one part of me that thought it was gay. What's the Bronco Buster? Uh, the guy gets put in the turnbuckle and he's like sitting. Uh -huh. X Pac jumps and puts his dick in his face. That's it. That's his closer. <laughs> That's over. a good closer. It is pretty sick. <laughs> That's and he pretty gets solid. Says, Suck my dick. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So this is there what he is. does. There it is, dude. He's getting ready. <gasps> Actually, and this guy's got his girl sitting on his uh, his lap and she's nodding like, yeah, fuck his face. He's gonna go. assault this man. Fuck, dude. <laughs> This was the oh ice age. God. This was that, the ice age. That is insane. <laughs> Suck it. Suck that it. is insane. That's his finishing move. <laughs> to Triple H. You imagine probably. your finishing Hell move. Yeah. Imagine pitching that in a meeting. Vince, here's my plan. I'm gonna lay a dude against the turnbuckle. I'm gonna fuck his face, and then I'm gonna do like this here. Suck it. Yeah. Genius. <laughs>